Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach the point of sale system or inventory management system project using Spring Boot application along with the Angular. The back end is a Spring Boot, front end is a Angular. How to make the system step, step by step will teach, right? So let's before we start the project, we have to go to the documentation. So here's a these are the tables category brand products sales and sales details so these are the system right the category you have a category first you have to understand category what is the category you have a tv that is a category the status you can select as true or false right tv as a category so here you can see the tv which is a category Right, so another category which is a chair or washing machine, which is a another category, machine. Right, so you have a another category which is a drinks, that's another category. Okay, there is a this other called as category. Right, this category has a brands. Okay, the category has a brand. So, so you can see the brand which is a LG, which is a brand. The Sony, which is a brand, these are the called as brand. Samsung, the Nokia, which is a brand. Okay, so Nokia, right? So these are the brands. Okay, Sony, Nokia, right? So you can see the status true or false. You can make it. So products. Okay, so one category has a many products. So one one category because a TV, which is a many products. Me. So here we have a description. It's a brand and category you have to write it right so one product one category has a many products okay so products imagine you have a lg there is a model so 20 inch tv 20 40 inch tv there is a model for something the product code right so description something like that the brand which is a lg category which is a tv so we have a price twenty thousand quantity we have a hundred quantity we have right so this how we have a product will be added so the at an appropriate category and appropriate brand you have to select that if it is a product say lg so there is a brand which is a uh, another tv which is a sony some brand so here what happened is the category is the same which is a TV, but brand should be the different, which is a Sony brand. Okay, so that that is the relationship. Okay, one brand has many products. So one LG brand has a many products. LG, there we have a TV, so we can select any other any other products, right? Okay, TV. So we have a washing machine, which is a LG. So uh, this is LG, LG, which is a many products. Okay, so we, another, t another one I am going to make it as LG, which is a uh, washing machine. Some of the brands are LG. Okay, so here the description is a LG, which is a washing machine, which is the category which is change it as which is a which is a which is washing machine. This is how we are make it. Make it the product. The price should be whatever. I just give the price. On eighty two hundred, what what if it is right? So in the TV ten thousand. You have to imagine before you have to make the system. The scenarios must right. The scenarios must right. So here this is the sales and sales detail. We will be we will discuss about later because you have a confuse right. So this is this is the diagram. This is how the sales system is work. Simply I have uh, teach here is category, brand, and products. Okay. One category has many products, one brand has many products. Right, if it is a TV, imagine you have a TV, TV has TV has many pro many products. So okay. So TV. TV has many brands. One category has many brands. Okay, one category has many brands. TV is one category. TV consists of LG, Sony, Nokia, like this. Right? So this is how we have saved the things in our products table. First you have a Product name, which is the LG TV. So the description, brand you have selected as LG, category you have TV. Uh, this you have to understand these things. Right? So here, if you are not understanding, you can you have to 
uh, you think about that. Okay, you just get the screenshot of my video here, this one. You just think about how the system works. That we have to keep in your mind. Right. Now, let's go to start the projects. Go to Google and type Spring Initializer. Right. So, you go to here. We have to configure the project first. Select language as Maven. The project has Maven. This is your country, the Maven language Java. Stick, uh, Spring Boot, you have to select as default one. Here, the project here, example. What I'm going to select as this example. If, as it is, you can give your project company name, whatever you can give here. I just keep as it is. This one project name I got is POS. Right, POS. So I have selected the version as 17. Right, 17. Right. You have to this is this how your project package has been created. Come example post. If you want to change the change this one, you can change it your company name, whatever. Right. So dependency, you must add this dependency web. This is must. Second dependency, I'm going to Lombok. Okay, so here it's manage the constructor and get and set method and everything. You have to simply you have to manage them here. Third one, I'm going to make it as. After that, we need another dependency which is JP, which manage the SQL queries, right? The all the SQL queries we are managed by dependent JPA. Okay, this is we have to handle in the RESTful API. This is a Lombok. After that, we need another dependency which is a MySQL. Click on this. These are the dependencies, right? So these are the basic Spring initializer configuration. We have not that. Right, this is the basic one, right? So you have select this chart. Okay, the package. This is the things you have to double check it, check off this. This so all things are correct one. Correct one, right? After that, generate. Now here project is generated. Here this is your project. So I just copy it. Going to put into my E drive. You can put into which drive you want. I just put it to my E drive. I'm going to extract it. Right click, extract file, click OK. So I extracted. So you can see here the this is my file. Okay. So now I'm going to open up my IntelliJ idea. So this is the professional editor for writing the code. So okay, if you are not installed the IntelliJ idea in your machine, you have to install the IntelliJ idea. Go to the respective website which is a intel j idea download so you have to click on this and install it right so you have to install it right so i am going to already install i have to open up file open so go to my e drive here where i have put my project e drive which name is pos so you have to get them it's p the letter p you have to this here this one right so select so select you have to not to open this go inside this folder they are saying here this one here you have to open it right so here if so i go to my go this not here here inside the folder we have a folder this one you have to open right you have to click on this open right trust project you have to open i have open on my new window right this is how we have open up the project so you have to wait until all the dependency I have given in my Spring initializer, all the things are get gendered. You have to wait a little bit time, it will be configuring your project here. Here all the dependencies installed successfully. Now you can see here this is the pom.xml. Right? You can see this is your project. You can see the pom.xml. Okay, this is all the dependencies you can check it. So here you can install the, you can see here this is the your Java version 17 we have selected. These are the dependencies. You can see the dependency stack. Here we have what are JPA, Web, MySQL connector, Lombok. Right? This is the starter dependency. So here, okay. this is all the dependencies should be there inside your pom.exam. You can double check it. This Java version here. For the version you have selected 17, all things will be available in the pom.exam. You can check off your project. What is the project name you are given? The step not version, all the things are there, right? This everything should be there, right? So here, 3.2.3. This, this all the things will be there. The version, all the things there, right? Perfect, right? So now we are done the successfully. Now let's create our test.
packages that is must right so what you are going to see is a src folder inside the src folder main inside the main there is a java folder inside the java folder we have a com dot example dot this is the package we have created so here this is a package so we are given the name right that project package it has been created this is the main java main application the post application you can see the main method should be there right select this package i'm going to create the all the packages now select this one new first package i'm going to create as a controller right controller after the second package i'm going to create here as entity third one i'm going to create here as dto fourth package i'm going to create as report after that service right. these are the packages we have created but right. these are the packages right. so so this is the model view architecture the entity which will be managing the database schema so first we have to create the entity first so entity table i am going to create first one is a right click new class which is a category so get a category class okay so category right you have created the category class right so category what you're going to do is we have to first you have to add the annotation first so that's one you have to entity right annotation entity right after that we have a another one is a table okay second table table right so table we have a we have to make as a property we have a name equal this one should be the category this we have a category should be the table category table has been created right so category right perfect after the what i'm going to do is here category we have to add the implement the rows columns right so we have to uh, go to the resources inside the resources folder we have a application property inside the application property i have paste this code so here what i need is a configuration here we have we have create the database right so in the database we have created in, inside this file so inside the resources folder we have application property here we have a project name we have to first you have to add the project name or system you have to implement the port here we have create the first time we have created we are going to create the database you use the create after that here the database driver mysql sql driver you are right what is the driver uh, driver this is a new driver so cj you have to import the cj you have to this is driver class you have to add it over here after that the url where your database is resided so you have to create the database in this port here your mysql workbench after install your mysql workbench here this is the port so here you can see go here this is the port right this port i have given here this is a database I am going to create. So we have to write this database. Right. So here it's a database. Create database if you are not if the database not exists, you have to create it. Here root, so username, password, root at one two three. This is the user credential of MySQL SQL server. Okay, while installing the MySQL work back. This is a user credential. If you are not uh, you don't know how to install the MySQL workbench. I have given the video description how to install the MySQL workbench step by step tutorial. You just click on my video description below. You can watch that. Right. After that, JPA configuration. You have to write the new way. This is the new way to configure the database. Uh, the JPA configuration. You have to write like this. Okay. This is all the source code I have given you. Don't worry about that. Now let's run it. After done the stuff, you have to run it and check it. Okay, I'm going to this one. I'm going to delete them right now. We have later on we have to edit, right? Okay. Now the first you have to check it. It is working. So it's working here. Yeah. It's no problem. It's working. So you have to, again you have to run and check it. Here. Yeah. It's working. No problem. It's working. No problem. Right? Now what you are going to see here, what I did here is you have to take the entity. First you have to implement the entity. Annotation is the entity. Second one is you have to implement the table, which is a category table name. 
which is a category category table consists of two columns so those are i'm going to add these two columns so i'm implementing these two things don't worry about that I'll, I'll explain it so here what i did here is so uh, you can see here this one we don't need this column right so what i did here is so you can see here separate right so here first you have to create a variable private in cat id is a category id first one is a Second column, I'm going to write it in cat name, which is a category name. This is a string string type, this is an integer type. Third one is a Boolean active. This one should be the third variable. The, this is a Boolean variable. And the status is true or false. Right? We have, we have a create the true status is true or false. So write it as a this is a fields. This is this one should be our API fields, right? So this is the column where we have created our database column. So we have write at column. So this annotation you have to write it here. This annotation you have to write. This is annotation you have to write column. Okay, at column this is annotation. Right. So you have to write the annotation. So column. Uh, so if you are writing it, you can write it. Yeah, just copy and paste. That's why it, it takes some the red color color should be changed. Press or press enter key. The color will be take care of this. Okay. This, if you import this name switch. First, if you are writing this one here, yeah, I'm going to write here. You can show you. Uh, cat type. So here, column at column, just there. This column name equal. This one should be cat ID, comma length. So I put it level, but I just use that. So the same thing you write it this column name. Okay, this is the three columns I have right. This one is a cat ID, cat name, and active. So this one we have a we have to write the auto increment part. So how to write the auto increment part? You have to write it over here. This one you have to call the ID as a primary key, generate value. So okay, so you have to write first ID as a primary key. So how to set the auto increment? So you have to write the ID primary key. This is how we have to set the primary key value. Okay, ID as a primary key. Second one I have to write as a uh, you have to write as a this one. Auto increment with your gen type. So this one you have if you write it here. If you write generate generate value, here you write a generate value, you write scatter g equal generate type auto. You write like this. So you have to write it here. That's all you have to write it here. Right? This are this is the first column I'm going to create. This is the first entity I'm going to create. Okay, category. So we have a it consists of cat ID, category name, and entity. Okay, this is three phase you have to get it here. Okay, okay, this is a fit. Okay, I already saw what the category table is. Sorry, category cat ID, cat name, active state. Like this one. Okay, it's a table. So if it is one also, you can here you can write stop and run the application. You can check it. But it's okay, fine or not. It's working. Here, the table has been created. Here. The table has been created. Category created. The table has been created here. This is how we have created create the category. It's a table. It will be created here. You can see the table creation. So you can go to the MySQL page. You can check it here. So to open up, so here schema here post system, which is our name we have given inside the category field. Here it's a category table has been created. Here I select all here it's cat name, cat ID, cat name set active. This has created lines by here. Okay, this is entity type. Okay, now I I hope you guys who understood the things well. Uh, I'll see in my next lecture. Thank you.